So here we are. We gave you the shot from the helipad and now we're standing underneath 17 stories of building. A normal building sits on a foundation. You can't walk underneath it. It's actually tall enough here that you could drive a car. And I don't have to duck. <laughs> here, these are the beams that support the entire building. And these beams sit on what is called a pedestal and on top of that is the base isolator. There are 126 base isolators framed in blue and the black in between like an Oreo cookie. That allows the building to move up to almost four feet in any direction laterally. So unlike conventional buildings that sway in an earthquake, that's the genius of this building that allows the building to stay relatively stationary while the earth moves underneath the building. This is the second tallest building in the world that sits on top of a base isolated foundation. Duct tape is an important component of any <laughs> building and we have five billion rolls of duct tape in this building. <laughs> Actually, no. This is what we call one of the stabilizer units for the structure. Rather than continuing to oscillate, this stabilizer, like a shock absorber, brings the building back into stasis. My favorite fun fact is that one of the maintenance features we have to do for the building is to lift the building up just a, about an inch or so every 10 years, pull out the base isolator, test it, and put it back in. Allison, thank you. And thank you for joining us today. It's so exciting to talk to you about this new building and our plans for the future.